there was a great protest action in New York City yesterday. So this was tweeted out October 14th, happening now from Talia Jane. Gaza burns, Wall Street booms, arms embargo now. An estimated 500 members of Jewish Voice for Peace New York have rushed the New York Stock Exchange, chaining themselves to entrances and an exterior fence. Security tried and failed to impede the masses. Here's this video. Here's some great footage uh, of the protest action. Hey, leave him alone! Stop arming Israel, let Gaza live. event very large turnout 200 plus jewish led protesters arrested at new york stock exchange yeah right exactly yes 200 plus jewish led protesters arrested at the new york stock exchange say stop arming israel this is an article in common dreams by jessica corbett as the israeli assault of the gaza strip and lebanon continued on monday over 200 jewish led protesters including descendants of holocaust survivors were arrested at the New York Stock Exchange while demanding that the United States stop arming Israel and profiting from genocide. Jewish Voice for Peace, which has led several anti-genocide protests across the country over the past year of war, said that hundreds of people joined the action in New York City. The advocacy group shared photos and videos on social media of participants in red t-shirts with messages including, not in our name, and stop arming. Israel. Uh, here's uh, some more video here from Sumaya Awad, who was there. So it gives you sort of a wide view of the fence. So on that on that shot, you can get a wide view for those who are not familiar with uh, Wall Street and the New York Stock Exchange. There is no vehicular traffic uh, right. on Wall Street yeah. now. It is pedestrian only, which actually makes it a great place to do a I protest. I was thinking that watching this. Yeah. yeah, because you can really create a big crowd there. So uh, very, very well done on their part. As Common Dreams has reported, stocks of American war profiteers, including Lockheed Martin, North of Northrop Grumman and RTX, formerly known as Raytheon, soared. Every all these all these brands are rebranding with X in their name. There's X, formerly known as Twitter, and now RTX, formerly Raytheon, soared in response. Soared in response to Israel launching its assault on Gaza after the Hamas-led October 2023 attack, as well as earlier this month, after Israeli forces began a ground invasion of Lebanon and Iran fired off ballistic missiles. So they not only cashed in on the attack last year but now they're cashing in on world war three of course as the war expands yeah. so does the portfolio of not only these companies this is the interesting part that comes up a little later that we don't think about but other giant companies that are invested in these companies which we'll see a few names in, in a few minutes 
Remember that members of Congress are permitted to own stock in war manufacturing, so when they vote to send more bombs or send our loved ones to war, they profit personally, U.S. Representative Rashida Tlaib said in early October. That is a good point. Tlaib, the only Palestinian American in Congress, has introduced the Stop Politicians Profiting from War Act, which would prohibit federal lawmakers, along with their spouses and dependent children, from trading defense stocks or having financial interests in companies that do business with the United States Department of Defense. Imagine how brazen a scumbag you have to be to vote no on that. <laughs> to vote no. To well, but they to, will. They will. They will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that, if that does not demonstrate the disconnect between our politics and our people, I don't know what does. Yeah. Who in America thinks that that's a good idea? Who, right. who in America would, would vote for that, right. given the Democratic voice? It, it, Americans don't want them holding stocks at all, right? Much less holding stocks in defense companies. Now you notice which which defense contractor is not named in the list of companies whose stock has soared. Mm -hmm. Our our friends at our Boeing, good friends there, yeah. Our friends at Boeing, for obvious reasons, they don't even want to buy missiles from those people. <laughs> That's right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Politicians should not be allowed to profit from genocide, said MacArthur fellow Rose Pacheski, an 82-year-old Jewish Voice for Peace member who was active in the movement to end the war in Vietnam and the oldest person chained to the Wall Street gates on Monday. There can be no business as usual while the U.S. arms Israel and profits from genocide. We are here to demand an arms embargo. Now, for those also unfamiliar with New York downtown, this is the fearless girl, says stop arming Israel. The fearless girl is positioned facing the iconic Wall Street bull. They put the fearless girl there to stare, stare down the bull. So they put the nice uh, stop arming Israel shirt on her. Yeah, and yeah then... so it's no longer facing the bull. They moved it oh, actually they moved to it? where, well, that's where the bull used to be. Oh, so, yeah, no shit. Wow, yeah, I didn't even realize that because it was a close-up shot. But I, I didn't even realize that, that she's not oriented in the same place. Wow, interesting. <laughs> That's right, because the bull is on Broadway. Bull is on Broadway now. So uh, they moved her to Wall Street. Well, the bull, uh, Arturo de Medica made the bull on his own initiative yeah, without just telling anybody. Mm -hmm. He just dropped it off uh, Christmas Eve, 1987. Yep. So they moved it. Um but then when she was put in front of it, the sculptor of the bull, Domenico, Domenica, uh, he was very upset about it. He was teary eyed. And it had been a long debate what he meant by the bull because there was the stock market crashed in 87. Right. So was he mocking the stock exchange? Right. Was it a troll or yeah? Was it a troll? But apparently he resolved it there because the fearless girl, this was really in the Me Too moment. Another sculptor made the fearless girl, put it in front of the bowl to draw attention to the lack of women in financial services. Talk about fucking white feminism. Right, so she's the girl uh, boss. Yeah, she's the girl boss, exactly. Staring down the bowl. Domenica had a press conference in tears because he always meant the bowl to be a positive symbol of markets. He's like one of the only right-wing uh, artists right. working today, apparently. Um, so they moved it back to where the bull originally was so now she confronts the stock exchange the stock exchange interesting that explains the change in geography but there she is in her stop arming israel shirt and then this is just funny noah hurwitz same guy who took that other photo or posted the other photo uh posted you know i always like to feature based cops because it, it's it's such a rarity and it's so funny when you actually root for a cop in a situation yeah, but this yeah. is pretty funny this zion is very angry that the nypd aren't letting him wave an israeli flag in people's faces cops got kind of rough with him so let's so here's the cops um dragging out one of the zionist uh counter protesters here you got to listen this isn't subtitle you got to listen to what they say it's pretty funny You're trying to incite the incident, right? That's not the funny part. Go down there, walk down the block, 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 walk down the block
He says, I live. So they're pointing, they're dragging him this way. He's pointing down the block. He says, I live over there. He says, I don't give a shit where you live. So then they say, go back to your house. So apparently they escorted yeah. him back to his house to make sure that he didn't bother people anymore. I live, I live over there. I don't give a shit where you live. So what? He literally lives on that block? Because otherwise well, yeah. you could just go around on Broadway. You could just go around, but I guess, yeah. I mean, the thing is, now on Wall Street, you know, post 9-11, a lot of those office buildings became vacant. Okay, right, right. Because they all moved you up to Midtown. You actually have people living now over right. there. You, now but, you can live on even, Wall Street it, because a lot of those old office right. buildings after 9-11 cleared out. The offices moved to Midtown. And then once those streets became passable again, the companies didn't move back. They were already resituated, so they became residential. So now you actually have people living on Wall Street. Still not a lot, though. It, it is the only part of town because it was really designed and conceived purely as the financial district. Yeah, as commerce. Yeah. With very little uh, residential housing. To this day, it's the only part of town that's empty if you go there on a weeknight. Yeah, it's empty. It's still There's literally cool. nobody there. Yeah. Uh, but great action there uh, by Jewish Voice for Peace. 200 arrests out of the about 500 people. So they did not disperse as ordered, which is good. That's good to see that kind yeah. of civil disobedience. This, I thought, was a really important component uh, of this. Um, which was a tweet that was embedded in the article, and here I'll screen share it now. Um, okay, let me grab this here. Da, da, da. Okay, this was a tweet by Derek Stephen. As Jewish Voice for Peace Live shuts down the New York Stock Exchange to demand the U.S. stop arming Israel, I thought it'd be a good time to repost this map of the top shareholders, BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street, Fidelity, of major U.S. companies, companies so there you could see the web of influence so when we think of the military industrial mm -hmm. complex we very often think of the top row there which are the weapons right. dealers right. but we don't often think of the fact that hey those companies mm -hmm. have investors not all of those investors are individuals some of those investors are companies themselves so you see vanguard state street blackrock capital group look at them all invested right. in those companies so that's how you really can can get a good sense of um, just how deep the rot runs. It's oh, not yeah. just Raytheon and Lockheed Martin getting rich off of war. It's BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, because yeah. they're all invested in those arms companies. Right. right. Yeah. And, and so are people with their retirement accounts. That's right. That's right. So I thought that was important to uh, feature there as well. Um, that, that That's who's running the country. Exactly. That's who's yeah. running the country. The people yep. that you vote for, you're basically voting for the CEO that is going to work for that board of directors. That's what you're voting for. Please clap.